Okay, every sign is gonna wanna watch this video right now because we have the opportunity to be rapid manifestors for the next seven days, and here is why. Feel inexplainable enthusiasm, hope, or childlike joy, or like a rapid manifester and ready for change, this video is for you. In this video, I covered the Sagittarius full moon and what you need to know about this event, how Sagittarius and Gemini need to be prepared for said event and horoscopes for all the types and how to use this energy to manifest your dreams. Enjoy. Welcome back to the Be The Hero channel. I'm Isabel and I help you understand yourself so you can feel more clarity and control over your life. Now, before I dive into today's video, talking about this massive transit that we have that really can make us rapid manifestors as I've been experiencing already and we're on day one of it, make sure you hit the link in the description below to book your one hour coaching call with me where we dive deep into your chart, your personality combination, such as your Enneagram, numerology, and more so you can understand yourself and get the things you want in life. That is in the link in the description below, book a reading, and while you're down there, join our free membership be the hero academy so i don't know if it's just me um and i can already picture the comments that are going to be coming after this usually but i feel like i've had a weird day as a start but i've also been rapidly manifesting the last two days really and i say that because i've had intentions that i've set that have instantly just come and one of them, which is I really wanted this new pair of cowboy boots and I they were $250. That is a lot to spend on a pair of shoes for me. Maybe not for you, but for me it is. And all of a sudden I, out of nowhere, won this giveaway for these shoes. And on top of it, I've had other experiences with rapid manifesting recently with friendships, um, interactions, all, the list goes on. I just feel like everything is suddenly coming to me and I think there's a reason why. We are in shadow period now for a Sagittarius full moon and this is an opportunity for us all I think to manifest rapidly. Sagittarius is the archer archetype and so if you have a Sagittarius sun or rising you're going to want to listen really close to this because this is going to be especially impactful for you, hence why I think it's been impactful for me. But there's also one other sign that's going to be really affected by this, which is Gemini, because this is your opposite. So if you have a Gemini, sun or rising, or Sagittarius, sun or rising, you should listen extra close. So this Sagittarius full moon is one that is actually much needed. And I'm actually going to just quote Forever Conscious on here because she gave a great great and resonant interpretation uh, beginning her article on the Sagittarius full moon, which is under the Sagittarius full moon, we are likely to find it easier to welcome in an abundant mindset and to feel optimistic about the future where previously we may have felt closed doors or roadblocks. This full moon shines a light, allowing us to see the way forward. So, she also mentions gratitude is key, which I want to get to in a minute. And it's ironic that I made a video about gratitude yesterday because this very much goes hand in hand with the Sagittarius full moon. And I didn't even realize that we were in full moon shadow today. So the Sagittarius archetype is about vision, optimism, and enthusiasm. It coincides with the planet Jupiter, which is about spiritual expansion to attain abundance. Abundance is something that does not not does, that is not just material, it takes a mindset. It takes an energetic shift. It is where we really harness the law of attraction. Hence why I think we can be rapid manifestors at this time. Because when embraced correctly, and the, for some of us it's easier than others, Sagittarius reminds us that we must have a horizon that we are seeking in order to feel a sense of fulfillment in life. For some of us, our horizon has to do with religious beliefs. For some of us, it's attaining something, whether it's a relationship or manifesting something or a career. And for some of us, it's a trip we're planning, for example. Whatever it is, Sagittarius reminds us we have to have something we're looking forward to. And we must not only have something to look forward to, but embracing with optimism. And so during this full moon period, which is from now the 20th until... 26th of May of 2024, 
we can feel like it is easier for us to tap into optimism. And if you're feeling this, let me know in the comments below. Do you feel like enthusiasm and optimism are things that are coming easier to you during this time? Or is it something that you're struggling with? For those who are potentially Gemini's, sun or risings, they may feel that they're out of their box in this energy. But this is a huge opportunity for you to manifest new relationships, new partnerships, and new connections and conversations with those who are, you are closest to. This could be a spouse. This could be, excuse me, just need my table. This could be a spouse. This could be a friend. This could be a business partner. The seventh house has to do with all these things. It's any one-on-one -on -one relationship. So if you have a Gemini sun or rising, you're going to feel out of your box, but this is an opportunity for you to present yourself with more enthusiasm and optimism and be more um, positive about your expectations and your relationship. So how can we use this to our benefit? All signs listen. This is not just for Sagittarius and Gemini. While you guys are highlighted and you may find that you can manifest with the most ease during this time, everyone has the opportunity to do so. It is just that for Gemini and Sagittarius, this may be more monumental. So for Sagittarius, um, you can really feel that you're shifting your vibration primarily. This may be more general for you, not necessarily finding a manifestation in one specific area of life, but everywhere. You are up leveling yourself vibrationally. You're tapping into a more source sense of you, one that is connected to source energy, one that sees themselves as non-material. You're having huge identity shifts, seeing yourself for what you truly are, which is a vibrational being, and this is impacting your entire life, Sagittarius, Sun, and Rising. I already mentioned for Gemini, but for everyone, if you're wanting to manifest during this time, I highly recommend you look at what house your Sagittarius is in. So if you're, let's see, um, if you're Sagittarius, it's going to be your first house. If you are a Gemini, it's going to be your seventh. If it's, you are a, my brain has to work here, guys. If you are an Aries, it'll be your ninth house. If it, you are a Leo, it'll be your fifth house. If you are a Virgo, it's going to be your fourth house. Did I do that right? Or am I doing it backwards? I will leave a list in the comments below because I'd rather do that than list them off right now. But look for your sun and rising. So your sun, based off of what sign your sun is in, count how many away, count, oh my gosh, my brain, guys, clock, counterclockwise Sagittarius is away from you. And based off of your rising, look to what house Sagittarius is in. Specifically... I bet I can find the degree for you guys right now. If not, I will put it in the description below. Um, let me see if I can find this info really quick on the full moon in Sagittarius and what degree it is in. Because this may change if you... I follow the Placidus house system, which means that not it's not a whole sign. The houses don't start at the beginning of each sign. All right, here we go. And so if you... Have, follow the Placidus system like I do, it'll change um, potentially what house it's in. So it's at two degrees of Sagittarius. So go to your chart, find two degrees of Sagittarius and look at what house, Roman numerals, um, your the Sagittarius is in for you. Two degrees of Sagittarius. And if you don't know how to do that and you need help with it, then book a reading in the link in the description below. So if you have the full moon in Sagittarius in your first house, if you're Sagittarius, now's the time for you to up-level your vibration, manifest everything into your life or anything by up-leveling who you are and letting go to any, um, releasing any old senses of identity. This is a full moon after all. So while full moons do have a sense of new beginnings, they're more so about letting things go, releasing, receiving by just being. So it's not so much that we have to change things, just letting things fall away. If the Sagittarius full moon is in your second house, which would be if you are a Capricorn, I believe, having an image now really helps. No, Scorpio. Yes. If you're Scorpio, then if it's in your second house, then you can manifest money. This is the time for you to manifest money into your life up-level your self-worth, step into a vibrational sense of self-worth that feels right to you, up-level through vibration. And one thing I want to note about the Sagittarius full moon is that it's all about having fun. 
it's all about play, which is ironic because I just had a hard discussion with my mom about work and her feedback in the end was just have fun with it more, bring something fun to the table. And I happened to look up that while we are in Gemini season, we're also having a full moon. And so this is all about fun, enthusiasm, joy, chase something fun, seek something new. Maybe if you're sec if it's second house in money, um, if it's in your third house, this full moon, communicate with new people, let your ideas be heard, speak, talk. If it's in your fourth house, do something new with your family, focus on your family life and how you can vibrationally upgrade and let go and do new things. If it's in your fifth house, romance, manifestations, new dating opportunities. If it's in your sixth house, something new with your routine schedule or um, acts of service that you give to the world. So if you have a job rather than a career, in your seventh house, something new in your relationships. If it's in your eighth house, you're going to have something new um, to do with your intimate relationships or with your relationship with yourself. New intimate desires, new sense of self, the healing shadows. If it's in your ninth house, you're going to be experiencing new sense of purpose, new sense of what you want to do as far as travels. Maybe you have the travel bug. If it's in your 10th house, new career um upgrades these are all the areas you can be manifesting in look to the house it's in if it's in your 11th house you're manifesting new things in your sense of meaning and purpose and your community with your friend group and if it's in your 12th house it's going to be manifesting for you with your subconscious you might just be having subconscious realizations so if you want more of a taylor horoscope based off of your sun moon rising your entire chart because your entire chart really does play into this if you want to know what you can manifest during this time book a reading and let me know in the comments below and i'll do my best to respond just comment your uh sun and rising or let me know what house the full moon in two degrees of sagittarius is happening in for you and i will let you know where you will most likely be seeing rapid manifestations or if you can do it yourself, let me know where you're manifesting in the comments below. Let me know what you are experiencing during this full moon. Are you feeling more optimistic, enthusiastic? Do you feel like you're ready to up level? What are you ready to leave behind? Let me know in the comments below. Let me know what's going through your head. I personally feel like I'm releasing a lot about uh, shame, frankly, about my desires, but also releasing the unnecessary parts of my desires too. Probably because Sagittarius is my 12th and first house, I'm probably releasing a lot of subconscious things during this time because my Sagittarius rising starts halfway through. I feel like I'm releasing a lot of fears and beliefs, but I also feel like I'm working a lot on my sense of purpose and novelty and what makes me feel meaningful and, full and building my personal philosophy. So, what are you manifesting during this time? What do you feel like you want to manifest? Let me know in the comments below. And if you have more questions about this full moon in Sagittarius, let me know in the comments below as well. Be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel and stay tuned for more videos breaking down the stars. Once again, my name is Isabel and from my heart to yours, namaste.